Welcome to another great episode of Skin Talk. Yeah. Thanks yes, for we, watching. Yes, we have a lot as usual. Yeah. A wonderful show lined up for you today. We do. I can't wait to see what Leanne has in store for us. She always has something good, something fabulous. And we have... We have Justin Colleen. He is from Energy of Fitness. He's actually the owner and head trainer, and he has... He's going to kick our butts a little bit. He's going to yeah. whip us into shape, give yeah. us some tips on how to stay healthy and fit. And so. I love that because, you know, we're both exercise fanatics in our own rank. I know, if you, you know? can see my knees, they're quite bruised from my volleyball game last night. <laughs> it's a very intense sport. <laughs> That's why we sit at every show. Yeah, exactly. Because typically we're up early exercising yeah. and I do all the running. This is the only chance we get to sit. I know, I know. It's <laughs> Even crazy. though my butt cheeks are hurting from that TRX training I did two days ago. <laughs> I so love TRX. So I am quite excited one. to hear what he has in store for us. And yes, we will be uh, changing and he's actually going to kick our butt, isn't I know. It? Yeah, I'm a little terrified. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. <laughs> now, we have some viewer emails. Yeah. Which are, we want to yeah. get right into that because we have two really good emails. And as usual, if you want to contact us, you can always reach us at skintalk.org. We welcome your ideas, your questions, whatever you may have. Even if you have an idea segment for Leanne, please yeah. send us information. Yeah. So, yeah, well, we got this first? one is uh, from Shelby. Mm -hmm. Usually they state where they're from, but. Um, I'm sure she's probably local. Yeah, maybe, maybe a local one. Yeah. But she says that she's been watching our show for uh, a few months now, and she wanted to thank us, which it's always nice to get that type of, um, you know, email, email to know that right. we're appreciative because we've gotten a few, <laughs> oh, maybe not so many thank yous yeah. in the past, but thank you for your They're thank you. They're very rare. Uh, very. There was. I think it was only that one. Mm -hmm. um, to be honest. Um, as she says, I just wanted to thank you all very much for the information that I've learned in the short amount of time that she's been watching the show. Um, and she was very inspired and um, has gained a lot of information in that time and has actually shared what she's learned with her, um, her friends. So I thought Perfect. that was great. But she also had a question and she asks us if either of us draw from an inspiration like a role model from maybe other talk show hosts that we're filming so oh yeah i think there's so many yeah. talk show hosts out there that mm -hmm. i i was just watching kathy lee and hoda actually the other day i always refers to that i you know, know i, I think always we're like that. a local version a little younger little local younger version. yeah younger <laughs> <laughs> no i love them i think they have a great dynamic and yeah. they're obviously both well-trained professionals yeah. and they know what they're doing. We're still and learning the game. Yeah. So excuse yeah. us for our little... That's our goal is to be at that level. Yeah. But I also like Ellen DeGeneres too. I think she's yes. absolutely hysterical. If I had one quarter of her comic yes. abilities. Yes. <laughs> and I think, you know, what's nice about Ellen is that because she's funny, because she's not like, like uh, what is it, um, Katie Couric, which is, I right, admire more serious. her, more yes. serious on the role. And they're, they're all so different. Queen Latifah is... Love her. I love her because she's real. She's just very down to earth. And it's not all about my friends, the celebrities that she has on the right. guests. She has, you know, just everyday people like people. you and me, everyday people, and just very inspiring, very, um, you know, for the women, mm -hmm. you know, or for, you know, your whatever is it you're um, advocating about. Right. Um, Oprah yeah, Winfrey. She's a great, yeah, so I think and we Oprah, sort of, of take from different people personally right. and just sort of do our best to bring to you and to our audience something lively, something interesting, something right. funny. Um, but Someday maybe someone will be thinking, thinking about us as role models. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> maybe someday. But we're not already. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we're having people thanking us already. Yeah, but, hey, exactly. We're slowly, we, everybody has to start somewhere. Exactly. So we appreciate the opportunity that we have to be here and to share this. So Yeah, and we have another great email. This one I actually really like. Hi, ladies. I was wondering if either of you had made any New Year's resolutions oh. this year. Hmm. So I have a really great one for this. I was meeting with this wonderful woman, um, Angela Lucier yesterday we had coffee and she was talking about how she is going to be giving a presentation on finding your tribe and what that means is surrounding yourself with powerful people who are movers and shakers looking to succeed looking to you That's know make the world a better place and so my new year's resolution is I think I already have that tribe and my resolution is to kind of shed the folks out of it that uh, yeah. that aren't yeah. on my team and, yeah. and get rid of the toxic relationships. It's like shaking the dead leaves out of a... Exactly. Yeah. Trimming the plants. Ones that aren't, <laughs> you know, doing anything yeah. but cluttering up yeah. your mental space, your exactly. emotional space. I like that. Vampires, my New Year's yeah. resolution <laughs> is to no longer make New Year's resolutions. <laughs> <laughs> I know, because it's tough to make them. A lot of people, they say, well, I think I was listening to the radio the other day, and they said that um, something like 50% of people who had made res New Year's resolutions had already gone back on them, had already yeah. failed well, The first them. week, everybody's gun-ho, and then it's, yeah, you know. Yeah, it just kind of goes. But, uh, no, well, it's, I, not achie if it's not achievable. You no. just 
And that's the thing, like, um, you have to have something that is realistic and obtainable. You know, exactly. you can't be like, oh, I want to be a millionaire. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good you know, luck. Yeah, good luck with that one. But, no, you and everyone else. I was Because I always ask people, too, like, sort of what, what your thought process. I think it's a good motivation mm -hmm. for people to get the ball rolling, to start, you know, shaking it up right. a little bit, to start Setting moving. Setting some small goals. Yeah. Yeah, so absolutely. So for me, you know, you, I think everybody always looks at the big picture, but it is looking at something simple. And for me, I mean, I have three kids, so I think it's just, you know, who's going to baseball? Who's going to, um, you know, it's gymnastics? You know, the school programs. To me, it's just sort of chilling. I want to take more time to enjoy them. I know. And enjoy life because you look at it and it's like, oh my God, it's, you know, three o'clock, they're going to be home from school. Okay, right. do your homework. Okay, hurry up. We got to go here. So and regimented. We, yeah, the it's so day. regimented where it's yeah. like sometimes you just take a deep breath, breethe, and be like, you know what? It, it snowed last night. Let's go make a snowman. Yeah. Even if it's just forget about 20 the other minutes. stuff you have to get yeah. done. And yep. I'm a little anal because it's like, oh, no, I got dishes in the sink and I have laundry <laughs> and I can't do anything unless this is done. So sometimes it's just taking a breath and being like, so that's personally for me. I love but it. I, I really like that. Um, Finding your tribe. Yeah. All right. That's well, really there's cool. our resolutions for you. And yes. stay tuned. We have Leanne's segment coming up next. Can't wait.